Hi, everyone. Um, right, so welcome to the Hub session. Um, we, we would like to start off um, this morning. Now, we'll, we'll have some chunky share back in uh, within our conversation today. There are many amongst us who are already um, beginning to develop their Hub's ideas um, and go into conversations and already engaging and consulting with uh, different communities about how best to set up these collaboration or coordination structures within the community. There are those who have done that research. There are some of us here who are still ideating um, like what we want to do. But to get us started, um, we have a lot of different hubs conversations over the next couple of hours. But within the general framework or within the general conversation around hubs, we'd like to have these bigger sharebacks as we discuss um, and hear from each other so that what we're sharing with each other is tangible and relevant to the conversation um, broadly. Um, so we'd like to just start off. I mean, we say hubs within the movement. And when we say hubs, sometimes I get the feeling we, we all mean different things. Um, when you say hubs to, um, to a startup, a tech startup, if you say hubs, something comes to mind. They probably envision a certain thing. If you say hubs to someone who's working on climate change, something might come to mind about what that might actually mean. So we'd just like to start off just really broadly, step away a little bit, if you can, from the Wikimedia movement and what hubs mean for us. And just generally, I'd like to hear, just go around the room and hear for you, for you personally, um, when you hear the word hub, what does it mean? What does a hub mean for you? Um, maybe when we have some kind of shared understanding, then we can dive into bigger, chunkier pieces of what it means <clears throat> for our movement and what we're learning from our different communities. Uh, hi, hello again, everyone. By the way, sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Yop Ruang Pam. Uh, I'm with the foundation. I'm on the community resources team and um, co-facilitating on, I'm co-facilitating this uh, conversation with my colleague, Natalia. Here. <laughs> okay, so we have the other microphone. I'll pass this one round. We'll just go round. And if you can say in one sentence, if that's possible. <laughs> if you can say in one sentence, what does a hub mean for you? Hub is where all nodes are linked. Where the nodes point. are linked. Yes. Okay. It's a huh. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. For me, hub it's where we can collaborate and share our knowledge between okay. ourselves. Collaboration. Yes. Linkages. Okay. Diversity. Diversity. One word. Nice. Oh, okay. Thank you. For me, I'll begin with saying who I am. <laughs> I didn't hear people saying who they are. And I would want to know people. So I'm Derek from Rwanda. So to me, I think a hub is more of um, a platform where people share ideas. Yeah. So it's more of, um, of a platform. Thank you. So, hello, I'm Harriet from Ghana. Um, for me, a hub will be a one-stop shop for everything, um, be it collaboration, support, um, communication. Yeah, but I know it's just one-stop shop where you can get everything that you would want. Yeah. Huh. That's like the Suntec Plaza, isn't it? <laughs> um, any other thoughts? I'll start picking people if that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to put you on the spot. I want to know, what does a hub mean for you? I'd like to know who we're having conversations with. Um, okay, I will go with you. Yes, what does a hub mean for you? Uh, for me, a hub is a place that uh, all the communities have a relationship with each other and um, controlled by a group. Uh, that knows everything about those uh, communities. Yeah. Relationships, a, a relationship spot. Okay. Was that 
when you say relationships, are you thinking long-term relationships <laughs> <laughs> or short-term relationships? Depends. Please tell, tell us more. Sorry, if you don't mind, I'd like to hear a little more. But w when we say hubs, what are we thinking long-term relationships? What does that mean? Uh, long-term relationships, actually, um, maybe some projects might be a short-term project. Okay. okay. Yeah. So you're thinking so of the relationships project-wise. Project-wise, yeah, these okay. are short-term, but uh, a strategy, a movement that would be a long-term relationship. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, we didn't meet you. You didn't tell us your name. By the way. <laughs> so, by the way. <laughs> uh, I'm Torul from Azerbaijan Wikipedia. Ah, awesome. Okay, great. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Yes. Hello, I'm from Mikhail from Georgia. Mm. Uh, hub for me, it's uh, people around same goals, same ideas. Mm. People coming together who have the same goals and the same ideas. Yes, yes. So if I don't agree with you, I can't be in a hub with you. Recording in progress. Would that be accurate or inaccurate? Just curious. Uh, I guess everyone has at least one same goal. For yes. Example, uh -huh. Wikipedia. Okay. For okay. example, like C Hub, mm -hmm. we have mainly like similar goals. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we didn't meet you. Oh, sorry, we did. <laughs> yeah. um, my name is Michael from Kenya. All right, Michael. And uh, I think it's convergence. Uh, when I look at hub, is uh, convergence where the interest ideas come together. So as one word, maybe I'll use convergence. Okay. So a convergence of thoughts and ideas. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So my name is Antonim Tavangu from Tanzania. And I think uh, a hub is a structure where more than one wiki communities can rely on uh, to work on similar mission and vision in mm -hmm. a broader way. That's my definition. Okay. A structure with similar mission and vision um, mm -hmm. and delivering that in a structured yes like working together in a structured manner yes what and if we're not structured can we still be a hub i don't think so why not because um structured means uh people should be aligning themselves with a common goal uh if we are two or three different people working on separate topics and interests Mm -hmm. Nothing, I think, not going to work. Okay. If, if I set up a lunch table, I'm using this as an example. If I set up a lunch table, and I know that at some point, everyone's going to come at this lunch table, to this lunch table, and I say the lunch table is open every day between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., and people come in and go every single day, would you call it a lunch hub? It's not structured. The only thing there is the space, but it's, and you come, come in uncoordinated. No, it doesn't matter who comes. You come and eat, you can have whatever. So, okay. And then you can come and order what you want. There's a chef there and he'll cook whatever you want. Okay, I answer that. And there's that. no coordination. Then Mehman will there's also no be answering. So okay. I think, yes, it's, it should be a lunch table because everyone- Would it be a hub? Would it be called a lunch hub? It's a lunch hub, yes, but the, the point is, what are they eating? Uh, those <laughs> <laughs> is everyone eating the same food? Uh, if it's uh, just a lunch table, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But if we say it's a um, lunch table, but to, to be more specific with the type of food that people eat, then okay. it shouldn't be for everyone. Okay, so if it was serving only burgers at a certain time of the day um, and but to everybody, then we can call it a burger hub. That's for Mehiman. Thematic hub. Yeah, <laughs> thematic hub. It's a thematic hub. Or, for example, we have a language hub and mm -hmm. it's around some, like language family. Mm -hmm. So it's mean hub. So okay. burger hub, it works. 
Okay. Yes. No, I can give him mine. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, I'm Wojciech from the CE Hub. Uh, <laughs> and th th there are a lot of things that I search for in hubs. So, like, a lot of these definitions that you guys have given hold true to a larger or, or lesser degree for me personally, but they hold true. What I look for in a hub is something I call the synergy effect, which means that one plus one equals three. That individual hub members, together, they create something different than the sum of the elements. So a hub is stronger than the collection of individuals or, well, call them institutions. Um, I, I think we want to hear more about that. What, what, does, what does that mean? Like, break it down in English. I'm not speaking English. <laughs> You're using technical terms. So for those of us who are non-technical, okay. uh, in terms of this. Yeah, so I tried to uh, elaborate. The, the, I tried to explain what synergy is by saying one plus one means three, right? So um, if Wikimedia... Um, Okay, uh, give me, give me, give me a, a fictional uh, land. If Wikimedia Land of Oz wants to um, wants to do a project, and Wikimedia Catalonia Islands wants to do a project, they might not be successful. But if they happen to be in the same area, if they create a hub, if, if they invite Wikimedia Mordor to it, and Wikimedia. Scottish Lowlands and Wikimedia, um, the Mariana Strait, <laughs> together as a hub, they might have a stronger voice. They might convince like large institutions of culture that it's worth doing a project because this won't be just a project for Wikimedia Land of Oz and separate project for Wikimedia Mordor. It will be a, a project, yeah, a project that, will that will cover a much, a much larger, larger area. area. And that's what and I call the synergy effect. effect. That's what I call one plus one equals three. three. Ah, okay. okay. Nicely, Nicely broken, broken down. down. Nicely broken okay. down. Um, um, who else who wants to add, add to that? that? Any other Any thoughts? thoughts? Okay. okay. Thank you. I'm Fernando from Argentina. Um, um, I was a little bit late, so I'm not sure uh, I'm going to answer the right question. But I would add to what you were sharing that I have detected that different roles may uh, interact differently into the Wikimedia community, staff, people involved in chapters, I mean, doing politics into the movement, and uh, volunteers like me, we we, I'm, I'm running a group of scientists trying to improve contents of Wikipedia and other projects from the science. science. So um, I would feel that um, I would make a hub, including scientists that not, are not involved um, in, 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 in usual political structures currently and are not staff. And we would nicely interact with those actors and actresses. Okay. But um, I have detected different interests, interests and have detected some conflicts uh, in the way we interact. That's why I would add that. I'm not sure if that justifies the hub, but uh, maybe academia people, uh, volunteers, okay. uh, improving project, maybe right. something that might shine. So integrating some more specialty. Um, would help us. So the question we're asking each other is, what does a hub mean for you as an individual? Um, whether within the movement or outside of the movement, but we just want to see where we are on, on hubs and our people with similar interests. Concerning, concerning uh, improving Wikimedia project, similar interests, similar ways uh, to, to reach them. Okay, people with similar interests. We're getting into a shared thinking. There's synergy, similarity, similar interests, shared vision, diversity. Um, and it's interesting, how do you bring diversity into a shared vision? Because sometimes when we think of diversity, we think of different groups. And when we think of shared ideas, we think of homogeneous groups. How do you create that within a hub structure? which is kind of the question we're ta we try to answer when 
we're talking about hubs within our movement. Bring that diversity, but within, with, let that diversity, like he says, that synergy, um, let that diversity then create that structure that's stronger, that's louder than the institution um, and enables things to happen. Um, Winnie. Hi, everyone. My name is Winnie. Um, I've been involved with the HABAS, specifically the East African Regional and Thematic Hub, ARP. So um, for me, I look at a hub as a, when I, when I think of hubs, um, I think of devolution, like having a devolved um, unit that brings people together to help decentralize certain things, uh, especially around representation, um, shared goals. Yeah, so a hub for me is more of, I think of devolution. Like for instance, um, in my country where I come from, Kenya, we are just one country, but in 2010, they introduced the devolution, which meant that we have 47 devolved units and each of those has its own like uh, uh, county government and all. And the whole idea around that was to ensure equitable access to resources and representation. So that's, that's, that's to me what I hope does in the scope of this movement. Thank you. Hi, I'm, I'm Johnny. I'm from EC Up. All right. Um, I'd like to liken hubs to like, let's think superheroes. Okay. Batman fights villains in Gotham City. Superman fights villains in Metropolis. Wonder Woman fights villains from Europe. But when they get together, it becomes the Justice League. And, and, and the issues that they handle are universal. And so I believe hubs can handle larger issues because it's kind of like a waste of time if the hub would go into a very micro, because the affiliate is already handling that, the community is already handling that. But the hub itself, as a, as a collaborative effort, it would be able to handle larger looming issues and, and create uh, very positive effects for everybody as a whole. The synergy as uh, what he mentioned is, is important. That's in my opinion. Uh, I like the lunch table example. I will think of hub like a sweet table at Wikimania. Yes, uh, people drop by. The common thing is not a common goal, just like they all is as eating sweets. Uh, a common need, maybe. And everybody brings something of their own. <laughs> and that is, this is where the diversity comes in. We have a comment from the chat. Um, Jalika, who is from the C community, writes, for me, hubs are support entities in the local thematic context where WMF cannot serve as well due to their global and generalized work, also lack of flexibility as US-based uh, entity, NGO. Yes, so Capucine Marin du Rocavazin from uh, Wikimedia Europe and Wikimedia France. I agree to all the comparison we made. Uh, of course, we are superheroes. Um, my point is, let's not forget uh, the global strategy. And uh, heroes are uh, hubs are here for synergies, of course, but they are also here to manage assets. And by assets, I mean mostly money and normal knowledge about how to do things. And uh, also the communities, because hubs uh, will see which communities are not covered by micro project, by micro organization. So there is a global view, the money and the local knowledge. And uh, we need to define how they will be able to do that because we want a more decentralized movement. 
Raw the hand there, then I'll come to Johnny. Okay. Thank you. My name is Shola from Nigeria. Um, well, I actually agree with what everyone have said about their definition and description of hub. But long before the Wikimedia Foundation started the movement strategy in Nigeria, we felt like starting to how to initiate an idea about hubs. We never knew that Wikimedia Foundation is actually going to come to this stage looking for how we can start a hub. Our definition about hub then is how we can devolve power, how power can actually be taken from the central and be spread among different units. And in so doing, we're trying to look at how we can set up smaller batches of people so that even when the, the central can't reach some remote places, they could be reached. So as we see a hub as a means of getting what cannot be reached, what cannot be gotten in the central in remote places, getting people to have it. Thank you.